let us understand how el can be used to access java beans here is a java bean and it has number of properties like property 1 property 2 etc el makes it very easy for a developer to access a property of a java bean so if bean instance is named bean1 then you can use dollar curly bracket bean1 dot property 2 to access the property 2 of the above java bean in other words you use dot convention just like in java language to access the properties directly so this is much more convenient than using either the scriptlets or JSP action tags. You might be wondering how EL would know where this bin instance is located, whether in request scope or session scope or somewhere else. The bin instance is actually searched within page scope, request scope, session scope, and application scope in that order. That means first. The bean instance bean1 will be searched in page scope. Only if bean1 is not found in a page scope, then request scope will be checked and so on and so forth. So EL again makes it very simple and convenient for the developers to access Java beans. We are back in the JSP workspace. In this hands on session, we will learn how to use EL with Java Bean to access various properties. Let's open the project EL1. We are carrying forward the work done in the earlier training sessions of Java Beans actions. We had developed a book search JSP to submit the search criteria and display the search results. Let's improve it using EL. Let's first open booksearch.jsp. This is the same JSP we had developed earlier, but I have made some changes. So let's study them first. The search criteria, which is specified here in this form, uses now only two fields the book ID and publisher name. So corresponding changes are also made during initialization of the book criteria bean. Here it is. So we are initializing the book criteria bean with book ID and publisher name from the request. Also corresponding changes made while displaying the last submitted search criteria. We are displaying the search criteria as book ID and publisher name. So these are the only changes which have been done. The rest of the JSP remains same as earlier. Second important change is in the book Java bean itself. Let's look at that. So under SRC edge books, we have this book Java bean. Let's take a look. The property author name or author, which is what it is called now, is a, another Java bean class called author. That means this is a nested bean instance. Let's check the author Java bean. Here it is. A simple class has only one property, name and corresponding getters and setters. So now our job is to use EL to display the search criteria as well as the search results. 